Hi, this is Jim Lentz, and welcome to The Art of Disneyland, featuring the Mark and Alice Davis Archive. This is the animation department's first signature sale of 2024. This amazing auction begins on April 5th and runs through April 8th, with over 1,800 lots spread out over four full days. The Art of Disneyland section will begin on Saturday, April 6th at our Beverly Hills office after the opening of the Mark and Alice Davis Archive on Friday, April 5th. The Disneyland portion of the sale opens with some great, one-of-a-kind Disney animation pieces with many that were originally sold at Disneyland's Art Corner store. This was a mecca for buying hand ink Disney animation cells in 1955. This sale pays homage to the Disney Art Corner store with many cells sold from that location and many with their original gold sticker on the back in this sale. This sale also has some great vintage Disney animation art as well. Go big or go home. In our last Disneyland sale last year, we brought to you an amazing selection of large actual Disney store statues. This sale does not disappoint with a simply amazing selection of large format statues of many of your favorite Disney characters. With over 1,800 lots in this sale, many of the large statue lots are spread out over our two full days. The highlights include a massive Mickey Sorcerer's Apprentice as well as Alice in the Wonderland statues from the Disney Store. A rare seven foot promotional Olaf display from Frozen. The Disney catalog's very, very large format Mickey Mouse and Fantasia Broom statues. A great Queen of Hearts painting playing card guard from the park. And long sold out big figs are also in this sale. Jessica Rabbit, Jack Skellington, and so many more. Our most unique lot in the Go Big or Go Home section in this video has to be our seven foot audio animatronic A100 mechanical frame that was designed by Walt Disney Imagineering and manufactured by Mapo. The Disney Park Attraction Poster. Boy, are we excited about this section in our Disneyland auction. The Disneyland hand-pulled serigraph park attraction posters are always one of the most popular sections in all our theme park sales. This may be the biggest and rarest selection of Disney Park Attraction posters we have ever offered. Over 25 lots are in this sale, including some very hard to find ones like the Art of Animation, the Enchanted Tiki Room, Carousel of Progress, the Grand Canyon Diorama, the Matterhorn, Tom Sawyer's Island, It's a Small World, and many more. There are even two lots that are as rare as they get. Original concept artwork for not one, but two Disneyland park attraction posters. One for Casa de Frida in Frontierland, and one for the unmade chicken plantation in Frontierland as well. Signs, signs, everywhere a sign. This sale has some of the rarest Disneyland and Disney theme park signs you will ever see. First up are some of the rarest Disneyland sign lots around. This sale has omnibus signs for Storybook Land, Watopia, The Jungle Cruise, and The Country Bear Jamboree to name a few. The sale is filled with great park displayed signs in virtually every section of the catalog. There's a great Mickey Mouse Main Street Cinema sign, a Hondo Hattie Jungle Cruise sign, an unbelievable Splash Mountain with Briar Rabbit and Br'er Fox sign, and an incredible rare 1964 New York World's Fair GE Progress Land sign, a highly desirable Samoa Polynesian Hotel sign, and many, many Disneyland and Disney Park attraction anniversary signs. There's even a great Epcot Figment sign, this sale may have the largest collection of highly desirable and hard to find Disneyland and Disney World flags. We have gotten many requests for these in the past and they are so happy to have a nice selection for you in this sale. The Bradley Bushman Archive. The David Bradley and Bruce Bushman team was assembled by Walt Disney in the early 1950s to explore an idea he had for a new kind of amusement park. A park created on a grand scale that catered to both young and old. That idea was Disneyland. Bradley was a self-taught engineer and he owned and operated Beverly Park located in Los Angeles between 1945 and 1974. Offered in this section is an array of original brown line prints, some with hand colored embellishments of Disneyland in some of its early concepts from the team of Bradley Bushman. All new to market, these lots will showcase a first hand look into the earliest development of Disneyland. 
the Kevin and Jody collection. Once again, Heritage Auctions is honored to have in this Disneyland sale lots from the acclaimed Disney artist team of Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly. Their vision and enormous talent is on view once again in this sale, with one incredible lot after another. A true highlight is their one-of-a-kind Pirates of the Caribbean, Barker Bird, Peg Lake Pete. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a parrot's life for me. Bronzes and maquettes. Every Disney auction at Heritage Auctions has a fantastic section of rare and hard-to-find bronze statues. Never sold to the public bronze Disney Studio Service Awards and rare studio hand-painted maquettes. One of the largest selections of Blaine Gibson's bronzes are in this sale. Classic characters of Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Donald and Goofy, along with his famous bust of Walt Disney himself, are all here. In our bronze section is a rare Briar Rabbit bronze statue inspired by Splash Mountain. The coveted, never sold to the public Disney Bronze Service Awards, many sculpted by the late Bill Tomer, are in this sale. The Disney Service Award lots include the highly desired Tinkerbell 25th Award, the Jiminy Cricket on the Matchbook 30th Year Award, a very hard to find Donald Duck 40th Year Award, and an even rarer award in this sale is the 45th Year Award, and this one presented to ink and paint department legend Betty Gunther. In the maquette section, we have a rare Casey Jr. with Milt Banta's name written on the bottom and a very early development Pirates of the Caribbean maquette of the pirate, Honest Maroon Pete. And there's an even rarer maquette from the never made Western River Expedition, the banjo playing Native American Indian. The Haunted Mansion. Disney's first haunted mansion opened in New Orleans Square in Disneyland on August 12, 1969. This sale has so many amazing lots that tie to the Haunted Mansion. The very hard to find hand pulled serigraph park attraction poster for the Haunted Mansion is in this sale. The long sold out three hitchhiking ghosts Disney big figs are here as well. There is even a Victorian era horse drawn hearse that is eerily close match to the one that stands out front of the Haunted Mansion in Disney World. Talk about a great Halloween prop for your home. The true highlight of all the Haunted Mansion lots, though, has to be a Disneyland attraction used and displayed, hand-painted, quicksand, stretching room, painting portrait. Can you hear the narrator at the mansion saying, Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. Over nine feet tall, this truly is one of the top lots in the entire sale. Boo. Star Wars, a new section to our Disneyland auction premieres in this sale devoted to the park's new Star Wars attractions. This sale has some really great lots. Star Wars theme park signs, Star Wars theme park worn costumes, and even actual Star Wars park props. This is going to be an auction with highlights galore, many from another galaxy. This upcoming art of Disneyland is filled with one highlight and surprise after another. Just a few are the rare green Disneyland opening day tickets and press pass. An even rarer Walt Disney signed Santa Fe and Disneyland Railroad Pass. One of my personal favorites in this sale is the restored all-metal Jungle Cruise e-ticket coupon stand. Keeping in line with all the Small World lots in this sale, Rolly Crump's personal model for the Small World attraction. Wow. Other highlights for me is an actual over six foot chicken of the sea pirate ship entrance door. A rare Autopia Mark 7 full fiber class vehicle shell. I can't wait to see what this is turned into by whoever gets this gem. Staying in the transportation mode, this sale has a rare Gold Mark III monorail captain's door. The Enchanted Tiki Room fans won't be disappointed with an actual Enchanted Tiki Room audio animatronic singing Tiki Bird. And our Pirates of the Caribbean fans will love the Pirates of the Caribbean Replica Pirates postcard machine with its original postcard sample panels. This sale has our first ever offer Disney World Boardwalk Resort for Passenger Surrey. I have never seen one of these come to market before. And finally, the rare Epcot Food Rocks, the Express Junk Food Heavy Metal Guitar Player. He's over six foot tall. I hope you enjoyed this quick look into our Art of Disneyland auction coming up this April 5th through 8th. We hope to see you at the auction at our Beverly Hills office or online at halive.com. 
You can order both our catalogs for The Art of Disneyland featuring the Mark and Alice Davis archive by going to ha.com slash catalogs or calling us here at Heritage Auction. If you have any questions on any lot, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. And remember, ask your questions before the auction, not after. We hope you find your favorite piece to add to your collection in this sale. If Disneyland is the happiest place on earth, we believe this may be the happiest auction on earth. And on behalf of the entire Heritage Animation team, we thank you for taking time to look through this sale. And on behalf of everyone here, stay safe, choose joy, and stay tuned.